the Poe collection will undoubtedly be the most valuable coin collection ever sold at auction. The Polk Collection is one of the greatest collections of United States coins ever assembled. The De Brent Polk Collection is a collection of early American coins starting with 1792, the founding and origination of the U.S. Mint, primarily going through the 1840s. And it's by far the biggest group of rarities from that era in completeness and absolutely the finest ever assembled of those early federal coins in terms of quality. The amazing thing is is that it's limited to only just under 700 pieces. So when you talk about an average lot value, um, you're talking into you know, several hundred thousands of dollars per piece. My name is Brent Pogue. Uh, I grew up in a real estate uh, with a real estate background, uh, development and acquisition. In the early 2000s, I migrated over to uh, coin investment. Since the early 90s, you know, this has been more of an investment hedge fund. You know, we've won as much as we've lost. Um, prior to that, it was pretty much a hobby. Why did I get involved in uh, early American coins? Uh, quite simply, they represent the birth of our country's economic system. I think innately numismatists are interested in, in history. It seems a logical place to start from the very beginning. I believe the Pogue Collection took approximately 40 years to assemble. It's uh, an accomplishment that, that could not be repeated. It was started at a time when it was a little bit easier to buy coins and they were not quite as expensive. This is one of the more special coins in the collection. It is what you call a half deem 1792. Uh, in the mid 1780s, we were finishing up the Revolutionary War and we had asked, uh, you know, we were waiting on France uh, to come help us, not only defeat the British, but to bring over gold and silver uh, to make coins. You cannot be a sovereign country without having money. France did make it over uh, to help us defeat the British, but they did not bring any, uh, any metals, no gold, no silver. And so the story has it, uh, this is the first federal issue coin minted in 1792. The story is that Martha Washington allowed George Washington and Jefferson to melt down her silver set to make the first federal issue coin. And that is supposedly, that is part of Marsha Washington's silver set. This is a 1796 quarter. This is the first year our country ever made quarters. And what's really special about this, other than the fact it's the first quarter ever made in our country, it's a one year design. So uh, after 1796, they did not make quarters until 1804 and at that time, uh, Liberty was totally different. This is a 1794 half dollar. Uh, this is the first year they ever made half dollars in our country. Uh, they call it the flowing hair dollar. What, really what makes this a spectacular coin, it is relatively rare, but the quality of this coin is fantastic. It is uh, graded mint state 64, and in my opinion is the only mint state 1794 in existence. This is one of my favorite coins, an 1808 quarter eagle. A two and a half dollar gold piece. This coin uh, my family purchased in 1985. I was able to trace this coin, the pedigree, back to 1890 in a very famous sale, the Lauren G. Parmalee sale. There may be one other mint state, in my opinion, 1808 quarter eagle, but this is graded mint state 65. The toning is completely original, and you know, 200 year old toning. Never been messed with again, a one year type coin. If you were to try to put together a type collection, which is one of every design, then you only have one stop with this design, and that's the 1808 Gold Quarter Eagle. This is a 1797 uh, half dollar. They only made this design in two years, 1796 and 1797, so you only have two years if you're building a typeset. You only have two choices, a 1796 and a 1797, by far the finest known. We're pretty hesitant to touch on, you know, exact estimates of the collection, although, you know, we, we do feel pretty comfortable saying that it will reach into the nine figures. It's an amazing collection, and when amazing collections come to, come to market, once-in-a-lifetime opportunities, coins that have been off the market for decades or multiple decades, only opportunity to acquire unique specimens or unique specimens in private hands, really anything can happen. It really is the journey. For me, the collection will never be completed, but in most 
th this collection is completed and that's why I chose this time to sell. I could always upgrade here or there. I could always find another small variety to add. There may be better numismatists out there, as a matter of fact there are, but I don't, I would put my custodianship up against anybody's. I've lived a numismatic dream. I've never doubted that for a second. Thank you.